Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi and we're going to talk together. Let's have another conversation about yoga. So today we're going to talk about that idea that we all have when we start doing yoga. And it's like, oh, doing yoga, I'm going to find spirituality and my center and my inner self and I'm going to connect with um, the universe, Lord, whatever are our beliefs. Okay, so let's just... Um, Explain a little bit, I'm going to explain you a little bit what are the base of yoga, which is the eight limbs of yoga, of Patanjali. And in those eight limbs of yoga, there are different aspects that will, will help us to balance our body, our mind, and then find the spirituality we are looking for. And then after, we're going to see about if just the physical part is going to help us or not. Okay, so the A-Limbs of Yoga, I'm going to go very um, quick about the A-Limbs of Yoga, but if you want to go in detail in, of each one, let me know in the comments, okay? So one is um, Yama, which is Yama is like um, the moral commandment, so it's all the, the same as any other religions, like uh, don't steal, don't hurt the others, so are different kind of moral guides to be a good human being. The second one is the Nijama, which is about self-purification in different ways. So it's more like a Kriya Yoga. And then we have Asanas, which are the positions of yoga. The yoga poses that we know, the downward dog, all that, they are all the yoga poses. And that is called Asana, which is the third limb of yoga. The fourth limb is Pranayama, which is the breathing exercises, the breath control, or the um, prana control, the vital energy control. This is the number four. The number fifth is Pratyahara, which is the um, introspection or self-reflection. You know, it's to go inwards ourselves, observe our thoughts, observe our emotions, give us some direction. So this is the fifth limb. The sixth one is called Dharana. Oh, Darana, Darana. Mm -hmm. I am not very good in Indian. So Darana, it's about concentration. You know that we are able to concentrate our mind in just one, one, one point or one thought or the breath. So it's all about concentration. Now the Jana, which is meditation, and the last one, which is Samadhi, which is the last point of yoga, which is like the bliss. You know, it's like I just completely connect with the everything and all. So, in those eight limbs of yoga and the books of Patanjali, there are different um, translations and different interpretations. So, they only mention the yoga poses as a part of to be flexible, to sit comfortable, in this kind of position, crossing legs position, to meditate for long periods. So he said the, the human being have to be strong, have to be flexible, have to have stamina, have to be strength. Now to maintain this kind of positions and to keep you back straight without feel uh, pain or feel uncomfortable, you really need to have certain core strength and of course flexibility. Mm -hmm. So this is only like a little point just to, you know, to be able to go to the other, other um, six or, or six limbs, okay? So then when we think about that, it's a little bit confused sometimes because we think, oh, I'm doing my super downward dog, my head is done, my split, so spiritual. But then after we finish the practice and then, we are completely different person and we are not that spiritual, you know. You have been seeing those kind of situations with ourselves. I don't want to talk about anybody. So what we need to understand is that part. That what we need to do be a good human being and connect with our, our spirituality is not a physical, act, a physical activity. The physical activity will help us to be disciplined, to find concentration and to find silence. I just heard something about a Mexican athlete called, um, her name is Ana Guevara, and she was talking to the, the new, or the young people that's going to the Olympics, and she was saying like, um, 
the silence of the physical activity create that silence in, our, in, in, in the mind. And then it really clicked to me because any physical activity doesn't have to be yoga. You can run, you can dance, you can um, do gymnastics, you can swim. And all those activities, because it's the physical activity and the connection with your mind and body, create a silence in your mind. So that helps us to clear up your mind. And she say as well, like uh, the silence of the training, the silence that we create ourselves to help us to be focused. And that really, it really opened my mind, you know, because it's true, like uh, we cannot just keep like, uh, oh, just yoga, create this. No, any physical activity create that well-being in our body. And as I say in the all oh, my videos, we are all different. Some people like yoga, some people like running, some people like different things. But that doesn't really create anything about our spirituality. Our spirituality is every day, every thought, every action. That is the way that we can really find that connection with God. We will levitate, we will connect with God, we don't know, you know? Like, um, as well, I like in the way Krishna Marty talk about, like, uh, they say they feel, they say they saw, they say, they say, they say, but then nobody really see clearly, oh, I did, you know, or oh, I hear it, somebody. So... When we are involved in this uh, kind of um, yoga world, we think like, oh, doing this and, <laughs> ah, yeah, my spirituality. No, the spirit, this is a resource that the human being we have to connect with our body and our mind, a way to control our mind. So for me, my experience is being like uh, the pranayama will help me, for example, simple example. You know, I'm in the supermarket and somebody jumped the queue. And that's something big fork and driving me crazy. You know what I mean? And now when I feel, you know, the bubble in, <laughs> so I just breathe, you know, I want to keep my peace. I say a mantra, something. So it's been helping me to control more my emotions and my thoughts. Or for example, when I remember a sad um experience that I've been having as well the breath has been helping me to say I understand I accept it and I let go I have a new present you know those kind of things are been helping me for but for our uh, daily activities our everyday constantly um, um, thoughts and emotions in my mind or for example when as well when we've for example, one thing is super funny because sometimes, I, you know, happen, you know, people think like the people who do yoga, we never get mad. And if we get mad, oh my God, everybody's like, oh, you shouldn't get mad. And that is a little bit harsh on us because we're human beings, you know what I mean? And that's something my mom always say like, oops. You know, I thought you were yogi. I was like, oh, seriously, you know? So... We need to understand that we are human beings and we have emotions. And what it helps us with the pranayama, the concentration, the mindfulness, the relaxation, any activity to help us just to have that inter, um, intercommunication. When we really concentrate on ourselves, when we really observe ourselves, when we are in a constantly reflection, you know, and the most important, the acceptation, that sometimes we're going to make mistakes and sometimes we're going to be right. And when we stop fighting right to run, and we just say like, okay, this is what I did, this is blah, 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 okay, what I want, what I need to find my peace, to find my inner peace, okay, this. Because sometimes we can dress like a this, dress like a yogi, there is something that Krishnamurti say about meditation, you know, the... You have to you have to go that if we if I find the link I will say to Gisland to put below. But it's about the, the master as no the student asked to the master to please help him to meditate, you know, to find um, the benefits or to understand meditation. So the master said, Okay, let's meditate. 
So the student sit down and start to sit in like that and breathe and blah, blah, blah. And the master, of course, you need to listen to Krishnamurti. I'm just making a short version. So Krishnamurti, uh, Krishnamurti say, like, uh, the master take two stones and start to make friction with the stones. And the students are like, oh, master, what are you doing? They say, like, oh, I'm trying to make a mural with these two stones. And the students are like, oh, no, master, that is not possible. You know what I mean? Like, uh, this is not happening. So the master told him, you can sit like that. You can breathe like that. But you're never going to find what is meditation. Because meditation is not an activity that we do for a certain time, for a certain moment. That's why I always say to my students that mindfulness or meditation is not something I do on Monday, 3 to 4. But then the rest of the day, I go crazy with my emotions. I let my emotions go everywhere. I let myself go away. You know what I mean? So it's something we have to constantly work on it. And again, I repeat with the acceptation that we're going to have mistakes, that we are going to make mistakes, and it's fine. From our mistakes, we learn, we observe, we take a reflection. And that really changed my mind. Because... Um, uh, study other types of philosophies like at the Zen or the Buddhist philosophy, it, it helps me to understand that what they are telling us, even the Jesus Christ um, learning is be a human being. And it's clear, all of them they have followed these steps to be a human being, a good and a nice human being. When you've fallen down and you mess up, Come back again, you know, and follow the path. And follow the path that is harmonic, peaceful for you and for the others, with respect, with understanding. And sometimes we're going to have these problems that we need to confront people and we need to get mad because sometimes we need to understand that we are as well, we have to protect ourselves. So we cannot go on life like, ah, oh, peace and love, yeah, me. And then, oh, no, peace and love. No, 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 no. You have to put limits to protect yourself, because not everybody we are in the same channel, you know, it will be great if everybody we are peace and love, but we are not all like that, so in some points we have to put limits, but always we need to understand that we put limits, that's why I always say as well to sometimes with the people I have to work and stuff like that, I'd say, I like to work peacefully, if there are problems or conflicts, I like to talk, solve them and let go. And that is the best we can do, you know, because sometimes there are problems, we hold them, we hold them, and we start to, mm, 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 you know, kind of pointing others and blah, 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 and it's a loop of you say, you think, you may, blah, 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 and never ending. But when we say like, that's why I did, that's what you did, what's going on, let's solve the problem, and bye-bye. Because sometimes you say to some people, bye-bye, and then we come back and they keep going, you know. So this is the way I think so that's a practical spirituality. When we are constantly in that point of, I'm here to learn, I'm here to have experience, I am, he I am here to live the life, and they're going to be positive and negative. And the mix and the balance of the two is what it gives harmony, which is the yin yang. It cannot be all the time good, all the time bad. But the mixing and the understanding of them is going to give us harmony and the inner peace and the spirituality that we are looking for. Because the spirituality is be connected with myself, what I am inside. And the most important, let go and clean up all the things that are just there to confuse us. That's why it's the part of the concentration or the pratyahara, the positive introspection. So I hope you like this video. I'm really happy to share with you all this. So let me know another topic that you want to talk. Leave your comments. What is for you um, this experience in yoga? Um, I'm here to listen to you. And thank you for being here. And don't forget to subscribe, like us, comment, share. And you can find us in Instagram as a sacred body studio. And see you again. We're going, we're going, we're going, blah, blah, blah.